Uh, hello, in this video I will illustrate uh, how to uh, write the code for the uh, bisection method for uh, finding the roots. So for this uh, I will take the example. So for example I will take this uh, equation. So we will find the roots of this equation and uh, with the uh, values of xl uh, is equal to uh, 1 and x u is equal to 0. Uh, yes, there is one correction, should be minus 1. Okay, so let me start MATLAB. So in the MATLAB, when we want to write some code, we need to go to the script. So in the command prompt, you will put uh, say, enter edit and then the editor window will open. So I make it big and in the editor window now uh, you can write the commands. So for uh, we can start from there here like uh, um, some comments. So for example uh, in the situation the stopping error is 1% uh, criteria. Okay. So maybe if, uh, first of all we can uh, define the stopping error. So stopping error I will use ES is equal to 1%. Okay. Okay, and then uh, put the semicolon. Uh, then the uh, lower value of X, XL, which is minus 1. And then the upper value of X, XU which is 0. So these, uh, this is the initial data that we must provide. And uh, then uh, we have XL is equal to minus 1, XU is equal to 0. And then from this XL and XU in the, mid, uh, in the bisection method, we can calculate the root. So we can root, root we can estimate as xl plus xu divided by 2. So in this way we can estimate the root. Okay. And uh, now what we have to do is we have to uh, define the uh, function. Okay. So the function is f is equal to. So function we will store in the variable and the function was minus 12 minus 21 x plus 18 x square minus 2.5 x cube. So this was the function. So I will start from minus 12 uh, times so uh, it will be minus 12 minus uh, 21 times x uh, plus 18 x 18 times x square minus 2.75 times x cube so in this way we have written down the uh, function okay this function is this but uh, in, in this case what i will what i am doing is that I will define this function as an anonymous function. Okay, what do you, what I mean by the anonymous function? I will put f is equal to at x. Okay, and then I will put a space, and then this is the, uh, and then this will be the f minus twelve minus twenty one times uh, x times x square minus 2.575 x cube and then this is the function okay so uh, in this way i i can use this uh, anonymous function uh, in f uh, for evaluating the values of the formula so because we have these values uh, x1, xl, xu, xr, so we should have the corresponding values of the function as well. So now this anonymous function will be helpful to write down these uh, anonymous values. So for example, uh, 
I can if I want to calculate uh, if I want to calculate f xl that means the value of the function at xl so then I will simply say I will simply use this f and inside of the bracket I will put xl so xl is the already defined variable xl I have already defined this variable over here yeah so you see it's here similarly if I want to calculate f x u so I will just put f into bracket x u okay and fxr so fxr is a variable whereas on the other side equal to f and inside of the bracket the value of f will be calculated for xr so xr we have already calculated so in this way we i have already calculated these values okay so and then i also need uh, some uh, more determinations uh, so for example uh, i need to calculate um, the error approximate error so approximate error is uh, for the bisection method the approximate the formula for the approximate error is absolute value and uh, it is uh, xu minus xl xu minus xl uh, divided by xu plus xl and then close and then multiplied by 100 so this is the formula for the approximate error absolute so this one we need okay and now uh, what we can do is we can uh, I can start the loop okay because these are the initial values these are the initial values so by doing this how the uh, code will work it will take these initial values uh, xl xu and then from xl and xu it will xr will be calculated and then by this uh, function fxl and fxu will be calculated and then the this ea will cal uh, calculate the uh, approximate error okay so now when when if i want to employ the bisection method so i can apply the uh, while loop okay while uh, ea is uh, greater than es okay i will write like this while ea is greater than es ea is greater than es the meaning of this ea is greater than es is that this loop will work only until uh, that point when the absolute error is greater than the stopping error if the absolute error is the will become less than the stopping error then the loop will uh, stop okay so this loop uh, after inside of this loop then i will perform a check if fxl if xl if fxl is less uh, if xl times okay uh, fx r fx r is uh, less than zero if xxl times fxl xr is less than zero then it means that uh, xl is equal to xr and xu will be equal to xr so we will have new values of xl and xr okay so this is according to the logic of the bisection method okay so uh, once this condition is uh, uh, not satisfied then it will go to else if else if else if uh, fxl that means same expression fxl times fxr is greater than zero is greater than zero then xl will be equal to xl xl will be equal to xl and 
x u will be equal to x u. Uh, sorry. Uh, so else if f x l times f x r is greater than zero, then x l will be equal to sorry x r and x u will be equal to x u. Yeah, earlier I was making a mistake over here. If x l times f x r is less than zero, then that will mean that f x uh, x l will be equal to x l and x u will be equal to x r and then if it is f a else if x l into x uh, f x r is greater than zero then x l will be equal to uh, x r and x u will be equal to x u will be equal to x u okay and now else Else will be the else is the other third situation fx one xl fxl into fxr will be equal to zero so that we don't need to put else then in that situation if it, that is the case then xr will be equal to then xr uh, xr will be equal to xr and this with this we will put an end to this if uh, if structure and then uh, now uh, I have come out of the if but we I am still inside of the while so in this while then I have to uh, place uh, a counter over here uh, i is equal to i plus one so this is the counter actually which I need to place but that of course I can put later as well uh, first thing that will be uh, that that it will be calculated will be x r is equal to because after this uh, while loop is completed we have to calculate from x l and x u we have to calculate x r so which is the same as the formula above so for example yes here but this uh, now x l will x r will be calculated with the new values of x l and x u which were previously determined in the uh, if structure so it is like this xr is equal to xl plus xu and here i will put okay and now i have xr and then after this uh, uh, you will calculate the uh, i will calculate the new value of the stopping error so remember that why I have to calculate it repeatedly EA because this EA was for the initial case but these are for uh, these uh, these EA and XR values are for the uh, EA cases when the iterations have been made okay so after this then uh, we have to calculate these values again okay inside of the while loop inside of the while loop we have to calculate these values again okay so maybe this everything have to be if we did fxl fxu fxr and uh, yeah these have to be repeated so maybe i can use the same uh, sequence as it was done before yeah so xr and then it will be yeah just just i want to align it well okay and then yeah so now i have this okay so with this then uh, what i can do is i can uh, now uh, end the statement so what i need in the end is i want to display the disp display the uh, values of uh, uh, So yeah. So here maybe uh, what I can do is I can end the loop, uh, the while loop, and the while loop, and in the end I can display uh, uh, display the 
xr uh, so in the end we can uh, we display xr and then display the ea uh, whatever will be the end result so if i hope that this uh, code is complete so we need to save it so save and then give it a name maybe i give it a name bisect lab bisect lab i have saved it and then i try to run this code so here in this case i can see that the code has been run and then the final answer is minus 4 minus 0 0.4180 and then 0 0.9346 so minus 0 0.4180 is the answer for the uh, root and 0 0.9346 is the answer for the uh, uh, relative absolute error which is uh, less than 1 this way we have got the uh, result which is the final result and i have checked that this result is uh, correct uh, however now what we can do is uh, we can do some certain uh, changes into this code so that we can show the result in a more uh, detailed uh, manner okay so so that for example we have some uh, tabular values in the form of the display so in order to uh, make these uh, changes uh, what we can do is I can expand it and then I can introduce uh, a counter which will start from 1 so counter in the form of i i for iteration and the first counter I start from uh, 1 okay and so this will mean that this is the first uh, this will be the first uh, iteration and now since i want to display certain uh, values so what i can do is i can combine all the values which i want to display in the form of a, a vector i call it as a say z okay z1 vector and then when it is a, a vector or a matrix I include we enclose it into the uh, square vertex the squ square brackets so the first value which I want to display is I the iteration okay which in this case is one and then I will put the uh, semicolon to so that each I uh, we are we, we want to display it in the uh, column uh, vector okay we want to display it in the column so I first I will be in the column one second i will be in the uh, column two when it the when it is uh, repeated then i want to display is the xl okay value the lower uh, bound value uh, separated by semicolon then i want to display is the xr and then i want to display is the uh, fxl it is the value of the function at Excel and then I want to display the value of the function at XR value of the function at XR okay and uh, that's it okay. so uh, in this way then I will close it and then I just uh, hit outside of this and then to save it and then I run this code let's see what happens so let's clear this thing clear it first so you'll see and now I run the code and let's see what happens so now nothing has happened of course because I just have placed these values over here but I did not uh, display them I want to if I want to display them uh, then what I should do is I should uh, display them uh, with some command okay so I should display them with some command so what is this command um, 
so this command will be uh, f print f okay f print f okay remember f print f uh, uh, this function or command uh, yeah well, this, this function or the command so the first uh, i want to display the text as iteration so it is a string variable so i will uh, enclose this string very uh, I will enclose because this will I uh, this will be the string which I want to display iteration okay and then I will put space and then next will be the xl next it will be the xu next it will be the xr okay xl xu xr and uh, uh, next it will be the uh, fxl and then next field will be uh, f x r okay and uh, next it will be the uh, next it will be the um, a and then uh, backslash and then n backslash and n is uh, necessary over here so that uh, we can uh, uh, we can say that the next uh, output will be in the next line okay and then I will uh, replace it uh, I will enclose it with the uh, uh, apostrophe and then bracket close and then semicolon uh, one variable which I have missed over here in Z1 was this. Uh, this is equal to I XL XR and then I after XL it should be XU. XU XU I missed it. So it will be there here. And then yeah, there is this was EA. So remember that all these are the strings. Okay. So let me see. Uh, how does this uh, affect it so if i put run and then i can see that now i will get the uh, headings of this first row over here okay but there should be some values under this okay so if i want to have some values under this then i should further change uh, this code okay so to further change this code Okay, so for this, uh, I will add one more fprint command, and here I will uh, provide the actual values. So fprint uh, here, fprint uh, f, sorry, fprint f, and then I will start with the formatting of these uh, values which are uh, which I am going to place. So what is the formatting? So formatting is this. So for example, for the iteration, it is an integer value. So for this, the code is uh, percent uh, 5D. So 5 is the number of digits of the integer and D is to show that it is an integer. And then space uh, percent 10.5F. Uh, so percent 10.5 is the code for uh, f is for is the code for the floating number because all the other values xl xu xr fxl up to ea are floating numbers and uh, um, just by uh, i mean just by my choice i said that it will be a 10 total 10 digit floating number with five digits after the uh, decimal points but this have to be repeated i think this have to be uh, repeated so then I will uh, copy and paste. I will paste it like uh, as many times as there are values. So here are one, two, three, four, five, six, six values. So one, two, three, four, five, six values. And then now I will uh, end it uh, with the uh, this uh, backslash n. Okay, again that all the values will be uh, replaced after this after the line will be given 
And now I have to provide the reference for that. So what values I have to include. So that those values which I have to include it, those are placed in this vector Z1. Okay. So these values are placed in this vector Z1. Okay. So in this way, uh, I have uh, placed this value. So this code has been placed before the while statement. So let's see uh, what's the effect of this is code so clear the workspace first so run the code and now i can see that uh, we i am getting the values like this okay so iteration this 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 and then i have uh, I, these values have not been aligned over here but uh, uh, we can uh, get the alignment of that those values later on so maybe if I, so you see that I need to place x1 a little bit behind. So I run it. So now you see x1 has come up. xu maybe move forward. Okay. So here and now xr should be moved forward. So I can see XR, FXL, FXL, so FXL is aligned, FXR is aligned and EA uh, has, uh, EA, maybe we can put, take EA over here, so it's like that. Okay, so uh, now, okay, let's further refine it. So now, because uh, we have to produce the values of these uh, for the further trials as well. So these values will come from this uh, while uh, loop. Okay, these are just the initial values. These values which have been produced over here, these are just the initial values. And uh, I think this uh, last statement is also causing us a problem. So I will delete it over here and then I run it again so now this is the uh, value okay so I think I was missing one uh, semicolon over here which is uh, good to have it over here and now let me clear clear it CLC and now I run the code again and yeah it's uh, it's coming like this okay so this uh, command prompt is uh, coming over here but I can I think we can fix it uh, next is uh, what you can do is we can I can place these commands so for example these commands inside of the loop as well just try just like these initial commands i placed inside of the loop here we can also place these uh, commands for the display inside of the loop as well so i will copy and then in the loop over here where i have this ea and like that then i can place these commands so control v and uh, this will be here and uh, here and this will be here okay uh, here I think uh, one difference uh, will be made because here I should use the Z because uh, for the next uh, iteration I want to display the values of EA as well so here in this case in Z I will need to introduce I will need to put EA the uh, uh, approximate percentage error over here and uh, it is already here over here uh, and then it should be uh, Z Z not Z okay so it will be Z 
and uh, now I will uh, save it and run it so maybe we can try the code uh, run and then I think we are getting some error over here uh, the error is uh, here because uh, instead of uh, semicolon I should have put the comma over here okay and uh, it may be the error is in z1 as well no z1 was okay maybe this is the uh, error so therefore i can so after doing this change we can run it again and now i think it's uh, working well okay Uh, but there is still some issue because uh, this uh, iteration then this word is repeating all the time so maybe we don't have to include this command over here because this is going to be repeated unnecessarily over here so we can remove it and then run it again and now i think it seems better okay but there is still some issue with this uh, extra line over here is an issue with the iteration as well so for the force to solve this issue for the iteration i think we need to input the uh, a update of this iteration because initially we took the iteration as i is equal to one but at the after this end statement we need to increment it by one i is equal to i plus one okay and then close it and now save it and then run it and then in this case now the iterations are like one three four five seven and the second iteration is going into this case which is a little bit weird so we need to fix this because this line should come over here not here so let me find the mistake uh, so I think the mistake may be for this uh, Z1, uh, no, not in Z1, because Z1 we have how many values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and in fprintf, because we are just taking this Z1 value, so there should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and this value is extra, okay, so maybe I can remove it from here and uh, now i update it and then i run it so now yeah now the values are seems to be correct for the second uh, statement over here the the uh, over here inside of the while loop the values of z were one two three four five six and seven and then here we have total seven values one two three four five six seven so that's why it corresponding it and now we are getting the accurate result so in this case let me run it again and clc and then run it run it again so here we have got the accurate result so excel xu xr uh, f of xl f of xr and the uh, percentage relative error so in this way we got the result so in this case the final answer is uh, xr is minus 0 0.41797 and the uh, percentage relative error is 0 0.93 percent so as a uh, as a checking whether the answer is correct or not so we can see over there that uh, see over that the value of this uh, function at xr uh, is 0 0.1227 so it is not zero uh, but uh, it is uh, close to zero if we want uh, this result to be more closer then we need to take some more iteration so for example in this case then we can change the stopping error to be 
instead of 1 you can change the stopping error to be 0.1 okay and then I run this again okay clear clear see and now I run it again so now stopping error is now less than 0.1 so here we can have the f of xr is 0 0.00394 so yeah this one is the more accurate result than the previous one so here now you can very easily change uh, the values of the variables so basically in this code which we have developed in this uh, for example the script which we have developed so we can change uh, we can choose the stopping error so for example as a comment i can put like this so we can choose the as a comment i can put we can choose the stopping error yes we can we also need to input xl and xr and uh, we need to also input the function so these variables we can uh, change so we can select the es okay whatever the stopping error we want we can choose the xl and xu and we can uh, enter the function over here so function we can enter here and the rest will remain the same next uh, next of uh, the other things it will be uh, automatically uh, calculated by function so in this way in a, a kind we have created a kind of very uh, useful uh, bisection method script with which you can uh, find the root of the uh, nonlinear uh, equations by the bisection method but remember that i think uh, still uh, this has some uh, this script may have some uh, limitations uh, one limitation for this is that we have not uh, put the uh, what if the value of the uh, ea is not converge is not converging so we have not put any uh, uh, mechanism in this core uh, in this script for that but most of the cases we will see that the value of ea will converge okay but later on of course this uh, script can be uh, modified or improved to input uh, a message or some error message over here if the value of ea is not converging and similarly uh, we have to provide the xl and xu value in such a way that for xl the value of f of xl will be plus or minus whatever and for fx you the value will should be of the opposite sign that means x initially we have to put fx x choose xl and xu value in such a way that these will bracket the terms so this type of check we have also not put into the script so we have to uh, provide these initial values by ourselves of course if you want to put this check we can also uh, put a an if statement over here and then uh, the the uh, uh, script can be further uh, improved so using this script now we just can need to put the equation from here and input the values of the xl and xu and the stopping error and then you can get the result in a very nice way like this so in this way uh, in one in one in some sense we can create a script for the uh, bisection method.